Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo with Click. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a brief demonstration of using Sense Desktop. Please note that there are longer tutorials in this series that will cover in greater detail what I'm about to show you. Let's get started by creating a new app. We'll call this My Sales Report and click Create. Then we'll click Open App. And we have a choice of loading data with the Data Load Editor or the Quick Data Load Wizard. The Quick Data Load Wizard will provide you a file browser list to select certain delimited files and other text-based files. However, I'm just going to simply drag and drop this Excel spreadsheet right onto the area. Here I can define my column names or choose which columns to select. Now I'll click Load Data. Then we'll go into Edit the Sheet, and this is my canvas where I can begin designing my visualizations. I'm going to go to the field list, and what I'm going to do is create a country list box of all the unique countries, simply by dragging the field onto the canvas. I will resize the box accordingly. All my fields are available on the left side inside this field panel. I'm going to create category name, I rename that to simply just category. And then finally, I'll grab product and do the same here. I'll go back to my visualizations and I'll choose bar chart. Using the quick buttons, I could easily add dimensions and measures. In this case, I'll add country and my metric of sales, choosing the aggregation of sum. I'm going to enlarge the screen to give myself a little bit more field of view. I'm going to format the sales metric to use a money formatting. And we're going to give it a title such as sales by country. Next, I'll grab a tree map and we'll add country as the first dimension. And then once again, sales as the metric. Going back to the fields list, I could add multiple dimensions such as choosing category and city and drop them right onto my tree map. And we'll call this one sales by country, category, and city. Finally, I'll put a pie chart in the upper right. And then once again, configure the same dimensions, this time using product. I click done. And we have now finished our simple app.